1964, at the age of 27, George da Costa was ordained a Roman Catholic priest in the Diocese of Honolulu. He was first assigned to St. Teresa Church in Honolulu, where almost immediately his behavior raised suspicion amongst his fellow priests. Despite the reports, nothing would be done by Catholic hierarchs to prevent him from continuing to sexually abuse children. Years later, reports would come to light detailing da Costa's abuse of at least two boys while at St. Teresa's, where he would often use outdoor retreats to groom and sexually abuse children. In 1968, da Costa left St. Teresa's for Damien Memorial High School in Honolulu, where he said daily mass for the students and taught religious studies. During this time, da Costa also taught at St. Louis School and would become the director of religious education for the entire diocese, as well as the director of the Catholic Youth Organization Camp, positions that gave him almost unlimited access to children. It is unknown just how many kids da Costa abused during this period. In 1973, Father da Costa was moved to St. Mary's Gate of Heaven Parish in Hilo, Hawaii where he worked as pastor for nearly three decades. Records show that by 1977, accounts of da Costa's sexual abuse of children had reached all the way to the Bishop of Honolulu, Bishop John Scanlon. Yet, despite the present horror and potential harm presented by these reports, Bishop Scanlon allowed da Costa to remain in ministry. In 1998, Honolulu Bishop Francis de Lorenzo ordered da Costa to undergo psychiatric treatment. Meanwhile, da Costa was still allowed to continue his work as a priest for the Diocese of Honolulu. As more and more survivors came forward, Bishop Di Lorenzo finally ordered George da Costa into retirement from the diocese in 2002. However, in yet another failure of the church to disclose the threat he posed to children, da Costa went on to serve as the director and minister for the Catholic outreach organization Music Ministry Alive. And for more than a decade, he continued to have ample opportunities to groom and prey on young people. It is believed that da Costa still resides on the Big Island. Over the course of his career, reports of Father da Costa's child sexual abuse were brought to the attention of four separate bishops, and not one of them took appropriate disciplinary or legal action. No criminal charges were ever brought against da Costa, nor was da Costa ever removed from the positions where he did the most harm. A sexual abuser of children was allowed to operate freely under the protection of the Catholic Church. And the children of the Diocese of Honolulu remained in grave peril for decades. <laughs>